What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna be knocking out the main story quest. The couple before this, I went ahead and did. I'm not gonna record a video for. It's just going back and forth in the starter area right here. But the actual story quest seems to start with Saint here in the boathouse for the bandits. So that's what we are going to be doing. All right, so quest Rise and Shine complete. Now we have a quest called Old Buddy, where we have to track down two bandits, which they're going to be all the way over here, so northeast of us from the boathouse. All right, so we are coming up on the spot where you need to go here. It's going to be an underground bunker. Once we go in, we're going to turn the corner, and you'll find a dead person and a hostile bandit and loot him that's art and try to loot calgan and it finishes the quest for you and you get the quest awful news which we have to go back to saint and tell him what happened to his buddy all right so we are back at the boathouse going to talk to saint again and turn in awful news and you're going to get a sawed off shotgun that goes in your pistol slot Thousand rubles, 200 units of repair parts, pouch of ammo for the shotgun and the pistol. And you also pick up another quest called Under Investigation. And now we have to go and interrogate essentially these three people who are in the boathouse area. This is the shotgun you get. I don't really like shotguns that are double barrel in this game because they just take too long to reload. And there's very few times where there's only one thing you're shooting at. It's usually a bunch of stuff. We're gonna start with Viper who's all the way back here by himself. This guy tells you that Coxcomb has been hanging around Scuba, who was murdered quite a lot lately. So now we're going to go talk to Proby. He doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Then we're going to go talk to Coxcomb. He's going to tell you that he hasn't seen Scuba lately while the other guy just told us that he's been hanging around him a lot. So that's going to end the under investigation quest. And now you have to pick a suspect. So back to talk to Saint. And because of the way Coxcomb acted, I chose him on my original playthrough and it turned out to be correct. So now Saint sends us to search his hut while he calls him in there and talks to him so that he's out of his house. So now we head over here and search the house. And you can just go through everything in here if you want to and read all the text. This crate to the left of the door has 150 expanding ammo for the pistol. But what you actually want to do is go to this cupboard in here, examine the magazines, and you'll get a key to a crate. You can examine the cans if you want to. Nothing's in there. Same with the desk. There's nothing inside here that you need. Then you come back to this crate right here, use the key on it, and you get a torn off ear. Uh, so that ends the without a warrant quest, and you pick up a quest called No Van Go. Now we go back and talk to Saint, but when we try to leave, Coxcomb catches us. So he knows that we were in his house now. So back over here, talk to Saint again. That's going to end No Van Go, and we get a new quest called Apprehend Him, where we have to go chase down Coxcomb. So, run back over to his house. He's gone, but Proby is here. Tells us that Coxcomb ran off. Now you got a quest called In Hot Pursuit, so still chasing Coxcomb down here. It's going to be just southeast of the boathouse where these NPCs usually are. You're going to talk to the outpost commander. Ask if anybody ran by. That ends Hot Pursuit. You get a new quest called Keep Up, so you're still chasing Coxcomb down. So essentially you're just running from quest marker to quest marker in this main story quest. It's not too hard to follow. When you get over into the area where you're supposed to be, you're going to see some random guy standing here. It's just unknown. And you're going to talk to him. 
ask him, did he see anyone run by? He tells us the coxcomb ran off in some direction. He's going to tell us that coxcomb ran off and he warned him about mutants that were in the area. So now we're just running over to this quest marker. And then once you get all the way to this quest marker, you're going to see coxcomb leaned up against the tree here. He's dead and his throat's been cut. And that gives you a new quest to go back and talk to Saint called Got What He Deserved. So all the way back to the boathouse. All right, we're back to Saint's house. Go in here and talk to him. And for that quest, you get a full-size double barrel shotgun called Coxcomb's BM-16, plus some ammo satchels, uh, satchel of first aid kits, 2,500 rubles and some more repair parts. And now you finally get the quest to leave the boathouse area for a little bit and go talk to shaman way over here and this is the shotgun you get which i mean it's another double barrel shotgun and this one actually takes up your main weapon slot so wouldn't recommend it but now we head all the way over and talk to shaman and he's going to end up being way over here uh be ready for pvp where the shaman is is a safe zone but getting to him there's going to be bandits and stalkers all over the place if they're on the quest now, once you start getting close, be careful because you're not actually in the safe zone until that green thing pops up on the bottom right down there that says you're in the safe zone. So while you're running up, I've died many a time to either a bandit or a stalker, depending on which character I'm on, just camping around outside and trying to kill people going in. And shaman. I don't think it really matters what you tell him when you have the option for diff three different ones. I haven't seen any any difference in any of it. Then he sends you over here to talk to Lyndon. Which is all the way back over there. So I will see you guys once we run all the way back. All right, we are at the quest area for Double Agent. He should be... Upstairs here somewhere. Yeah. So, this is the area. And he's going to be upstairs here. And basically you want to do the whole, I'd like to join the orderlies. You can go through the other options if you want to, but it all comes back to that. And you say you'll do your errands. Now you have to meet Jaundice's assistant. Now, this splits off into two quests. You now have Runaway and Exposing the Truth. So we have to find Hole Punch for one and Cobbler for the other. Both of them are in the next zone up. So they're both in the Cordon. So I will see you guys when we get there. All right, for the main story, after you talk to Jaundice, he gives you two quests. One of them is to come here, which is Photon 2. It's all the way up in the Cordon, the second zone. You go here, and you're supposed to find Cobbler. Right, when you go in the front door, you're going to run all the way to the back. And Cobbler's going to be all the way back here, hidden in the back corner. So you talk to him. And you've got a few different things you can tell him now. We are going to go with... Let's go with I Help the Blessed. So now he wants a drink. If you have vodka on you, which if you've been looting things, you probably should. Give him one. Two. And then three. Don't give him more than three. If you give him more than three, he gets too drunk and he won't talk to you. So you give him the three, he'll talk to you. Um, I'm going to tell him this. You tell him to lay low and he gives you a mica keychain for your gun and a bag of ammo. All right. Now, Jaundice's assistant is the next main story quest, which is going to be way over here on the other side of the bandit area. So I will see you guys as soon as we get there. So Jaundice's assistant is going to be right here in relation to the base for bandits. 
and he sends you to find hole punch and bring him his ear back which hole punch is way down here and the name of the quest is captive twice all right we are coming up on the captive twice mission to find hole punch for the main story We're just going to go in because I don't feel like fighting all those guys. All right. Talk to Hole Punch. Now you can either kill him or you can tell him to cut his ear off and give it to you. I always just tell him to cut his ear off. And now... We are going back to Jaundice's assistant. All right, we're back up to Jaundice's assistant here. Give him the ear. He gives you 2,000 rubles. And that part of the quest is done. Now, when you leave, Jaundice will call you. Now you have to go back and talk to Jaundice again, which this time he is in the Cordon area over here to the east side. And that's the quest called Orderly Day. Carrying on with the main story quest here for the bandit. I'm at the point where I need to go to the orderly base over here. Before you go, empty out your bags of anything you don't want to lose. So like me, I, all this stuff is bound, so I can't drop any of this. But don't take a bunch of extra med kits and a bunch of extra ammo. Because if you die inside this instance, you lose it all. There's no way to get it back. Once you die in there, anything that's on you that's not bound to you is gone. So just a heads up, don't take a bunch of extra shit. Don't take any crafting items, anything like that. Make sure you empty out your inventory before you go. All right, once you're getting close, be careful. There are a lot of mines around this place. They're all on this side so try not to hit one of the mines on the way in and also make sure this gate stays open sometimes it bugs out and you get stuck make sure not to close this gate behind you you're gonna go down down Hang left. Another left. Kind of following the flares here. Got to go up this ladder. Follow this flare. All the way past this into this little... Don't go up and down that. All the way here and you can come down the ladder. Now you can go all the way down. Hang on a right. Left right just heading left over here following this arrow it's very long distance since you got to go in here going all the way around here and linden pops into existence for some reason here and here is jaundice now that you're talking to him you're gonna have to choose to either kill jaundice or save jaundice i've never tried to kill him to see what you what happens i've always saved him he tells you that, then you come talk to Lyndon. And uh, now you can either choose the first one to kill him, which I've never done, or you can say no. And as soon as you say no, all the orderlies attack. So be ready if you do this one. I'm going to do this one because I always do. And just try to run away. And Jaundice has a lot of health, by the way. And by the way, the guys in here who melee hurt. And they also bounce you all over the place. So now you're just kind of sneaking around a little bit. And trying to kill everybody. I thought I heard somebody else over here. Did I not? Go ahead and clear the immediate area up here. Okay, yeah. We're good now. Clear the immediate area up top. Make sure there's nobody left. You don't want anybody sneaking up on you and killing you. And talk to Lyndon again. And he says, thanks for saving me. Go ahead. I'll come out after you do. 
Now, don't forget to come over here to the table and loot the documents. It's still going to show on your quest over there to take the documents. That'll, that'll clear up as soon as you leave the whole area once you get all the way out. There's an ammo crate right here. Go ahead and refill if you need to. There's really not a lot in here to loot, if I remember correctly, so you don't have to sit there and waste your time. And now we got to fight our way out of this whole place, which is terrible. Now we just got a checkpoint. So if we die, we respawn here, but all the enemies also respawn. So if I clear out this whole next area and then die when there's one guy left, they all repop. And they also have very good aim and they shoot and they hurt a lot. So try not to show very much of yourself. If you can, if you've got a rifle of some sort with a, with an optic, I wouldn't suggest the Mosin for the simple fact that it is so slow to reload. But if you can get like an SVT or something like that, or anything that's got decent range on it, I would suggest doing that. Do not come in here with a shotgun or you're going to have a bad time. And there are people everywhere, so. There's some over there that I can't see. There's one way down there. There's a guy in the pit right here that you can't see because of. You can shoot him through this if you got a rifle through that little crack. There's another guy way down there that I couldn't see. I'm glad he shot at me. See what I'm talking about? That melee guy just took 50% of my health in two swings and they bounce you very high up in the air. So it's hard to shoot them. So if you can stay away from those guys, do that. All right. I'm just making sure I'm clearing all my, my corners here. I don't want anybody behind me. The guy right here might be another one in there that's close i don't remember two of them actually now there's somebody with a shotgun over there shooting at me aside from the melee guys they don't seem to really run after you very much where was that guy shooting from Now, there's a bunch of people in those hallways over there. You don't have to go clear that. guy right here on the left side that you can kind of sneak up on and there's also a guy to the right who's a melee guy and he's back in a corner that you can't see until you've ran past it and he will sneak up on you he killed me on my first playthrough and I am out of plates now there should be one more guy over there i think yeah and then you're gonna have a guy way down here that you can sort of cheese 
There's gonna be a guy, I think, over here on the right. Okay, he was farther down. There might be another one, too. And these guys have shotguns, so if you have a pistol, I would just suggest shooting them in the face. Okay, so that's cleared those three guys out. This guy's dead. There's going to be a lot up here around this corner, so be ready to fall back because these guys do rush you, and they have shotguns and machine guns, so rush when they start rushing, fall back. See if you can get one dead before, and then just move back because you don't want to be close to them. Especially that melee guy. If that melee guy gets to you and starts bouncing you up in the air and juggling you while you're trying to shoot those other guys, it's a wrap. I died there too. I died a lot in here my first going, first playthrough. There's more ammo right here, which I think also gives you... I think the ammo also gives you more medkits, yeah. So hit that every time you get a chance. There should be one more to the right, for sure. Over here, maybe? Where is he? There's another guy here. There's one. There he is. We got a melee guy and another shotgunner, and then a gun guy back there. Let's make sure we've cleared this. Good to go. Heading up. Should be two ladders. And then I think we're back at the entrance area. Now I think there's a, yep, there's a guy to your right, and there should be two to the left. And boom, you're good to go. Now you can leave the zone. And as soon as you zone out of here and take the door, actually, you just walk through the gate and it gives you the credit for taking the orderly documents. But we got to go this way. And it unloads your weapons and pretty much takes all that ammo that it gave you in there. So essentially, anything you didn't take in with you, you don't keep. Now, the quest wants us to go back to Shaman. So, that's where we're heading now. I will see you guys shortly. So, we're back over to where the Shaman is. Let's go down there and talk to him. Это слишком опасно. Ценой этого научного эксперимента может стать катастрофа. Любой грандиозный прорыв сопряжен с риском. Но мы не имеем права на трусость. Мы стоим перед вратами в рай. А вы боитесь повернуть ключ в замочной скважине? У нас не хватает знаний. У нас нет понимания, как работает этот артефакт. Ваш замысел... Не вам судить мой замысел. Без моей поддержки вас, господа, здесь и вовсе бы не было. Я вполне компетентен в оценке собственных способностей. И не прошу злоупотреблять этой силой. Мы лишь защитим наши сокровища. Если верить их записям, он поможет нам в этом. Его сила велика. Но мы сможем ее контролировать. Он будет для нас не мечом, но щитом. Без рассудства. Мы держим в руках огонь. Верно. Это огонь, что будет согревать нас и сжигать наших врагов. All right. And now we get a quest called Waking Up. We got to talk to the shaman again. Пришел себя, наконец-то. На свалке тебе не продержи. У меня очень хороший. Я должен сплотить наших братьев блаженных. И... At that point, you get the shaman's boomstick, which was early game, one of the best sniper rifles you can get. One shots to the head, pretty much everybody. So definitely hold on to this. You might want to buy a, a scope for it. If you're going to PVP, that's 
as good as it's going to get early game for a sniper rifle. And now our quest is to go talk to Junk Man, which is all the way up in the dump, I'm pretty sure. But we have a side quest first to go and swing by Photon 2 and get piece of armor, which I'm pretty sure I've already got, but we'll swing by there, grab that. And I will see y'all when we get there. All right, guys, we are back at Photon 2 doing the side quest that branches off of the main quest to get a protective suit before we go to the dump. And they want us to get the, this one. It's, it's, you see the, the border around it. That's the one you're supposed to be getting. I've already got one. So I guess I'm gonna have to buy another one just to make the quest give me credit. Boom. Credit for that. That's how you do that. You will need, you'll need 25 sticky roots and 20 seeds. And I just happened to have a bunch of both of them. So I didn't care. I just went ahead and bought another one. But that's all that you have to do for this side quest. I, I already had one. I would recommend holding off on making this one until you get the quest to make it. That way you can knock it out and get credit for the quest at the same time. That's going to be it for the, the Cordon main story mission quests. The next quest is going to take us up to the dump here. And I will have a video out on the main story mission full quest line in the dump area coming soon. So if this helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. You guys take it easy.